Today we're going to make some oyster etouffee. We're going to make it mushroom, vegan, oil-free, low-fat. The recipe is going to be below today's video and um, this is out of the book by Janae Claiborne and um, a link to her book as well is going to be included in the description below. So recipe calls for all types of wonderful wonderful vegetables we have here. I've got my Instapot that I've, uh, I'm going to be sauteing and cooking all of the etouffee in today. So um, I'm going to do, I've done some prep and I've got these beautiful, beautiful mushrooms. Look at this. This is, this is a, a gourmet group of mushrooms that I got at our friends at Costco. And um, there's trumpet mushrooms, some oyster mushrooms, and um, some uh, porcinis and uh, just some lovely, lovely mushrooms. Now, the recipe calls for oysters, oyster mushrooms, but I pretty much use whatever I get my hands on. If I'm using a uh, just porcinis or um, I've not made this with white mushrooms because I think my white mushrooms are just a little too uh, soft, but you want to use a little bit more meaty of a mushroom. So that's why I've gotten this wonderful gourmet uh, grouping of mushrooms. So first of all, what we want to do is prep, prep our vegetables. So I've got some celery cut up here. Um, we're going to do some garlic, uh, green pepper, and onions. I'm going to show you a couple of really easy tricks here. So um, I have been a fan of various celebrity chefs over the years. And I'm thinking back, I've probably been watching celebrity chefs for 40, 40 years or so, and um, one of the sh one of the tricks I've pulled up from many uh, of the celebrity chefs is how to dice a uh, onion. So really easy. Uh, it's already segmented for us, uh, you know, with those with those layers, if you will. So we're going to cut kind of pole to pole, and then we're going to uh, cut on an on a parallel to our surface cutting area and then just nicely just chop down keep your fingers bent up under you don't want to be uh, cutting your fingers and putting any blood in your in your etouffee um, I gotta tell you I was doing a class one time and cut my finger and it was not a pretty thing so um, anyway so there's some of our wonderful onions um, I'm also gonna and I'm not too particular uh, with with the chopping process here. Um, we're also going to do a, a green pepper. Let me show you a really easy way to do the green pepper. If you just cut off the top and cut off the bottom um, and then uh, just kind of split the, split it open like that and then um, just cut the bitter ribs out and get rid of the, those bitter ribs and seeds cut those bitter ribs right out and then um, all you're going to do here is then take and stack your green pepper and then slice it into nice little strips like that stack them up with a deck of cards and then cut 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 and there you have some wonderful easily chopped green pepper so I, I, can, I can chop that up as well, might as well. This recipe is calling for a uh, pound of mushrooms. I'm, I'm using two pounds, so I'm just increasing some of, my, uh, some of my ingredients a little bit here. And then the last little thing we want to do is um, a lovely little uh, garlic. And I'm going to show you a really easy way to do, to do the garlic. What you do is you take your uh, whole garlic tip and then press down on it and uh, that's going to kind of begin to open up some of the uh, some of the flowers uh, the little cloves I should say and we're going to take I'm going to take three cloves for this recipe and um, we don't want any of that in there okay then um, from one of my favorite celebrity chefs, Jacques Pepin, a uh, French chef um, who's uh, been on TBS for a number, a number of years. 
What you do, he taught, he taught me this trick. Uh, you take your cloves of garlic, cut that root end off, and then just press down on the garlic like that and watch how easy they come apart. Isn't that, isn't that easy? I'm gonna get those, um, leave the husks away. And now what we wanna do, as Jacques would say, to release some of the essential oils. Just press on that like that. And there we go. So now we've got those veg all those vegetables done. We're gonna do some celery. I've already cut some celery. Watch how easy this is to slice up some celery. We just um, take the celery and cut along the rib and then uh, perpendicular to the rib. And then we get our dicing. Again, I'm not too particular with this etouffee because uh, it's all going to cook down really, really nicely. And uh, you got any kind of garbage like that, uh, you just want to throw that in the uh, recycle bin for our composting. And there we have all our lovely vegetables. Now what I'm going to do over here is my pot's been heating up and I want to um, basically just toast some white flour. Um, it's about the only time I'm going to use white flour in a recipe, but that's kind of uh, what will thicken up our, our gravy, our etouffee, if you will. So I'm just going to put my white flour, the, the, pan, the pan is really nice and warm. And um, what I'm going to do is just move this around for um, a little bit. And I want this to start toasting. It's going to start turning brown a little bit. Let's just kind of wash this here. around. I can start smelling the, smelling the um, toasting of the flour. It's kind of got a, you know, not quite like bread, but it's got a kind of a sweet uh, aroma as you toast this all-purpose flour. Of course, we want organic all-purpose flour. You just keep stirring it, stirring it, stirring it. See, it's kind of start turning a little, a little brown here. And the more you toast your flour, um, the deeper and the richer the flavor of your etouffee is going to be as well. So I'm just going to keep moving this around. all you have to do. So now I'm going to put a um, about a cup of broth in there. You see how warm that is. And what I want to do now is just kind of move this around. Keep moving this around. You're going to get some lumps. Don't worry about that because as you cook down everything else, it will um, the lumps will disappear. I'm not too worried about those. Don't Right, just keep moving that around. We're gonna need to pour a little bit more. You see how nice and warm that is. I've made my own uh, vegetable broth here. You could use uh, store-bought vegetable broth, or you could just use water in this as well. Okay, now what I'm, go I'm going to do is um, throw my vegetables in. I just like to throw all the vegetables in at once and we're going to leave those toast up. It's going to take probably about seven or eight minutes here to get everything nice and warm. Because I've increased the uh, amount in this recipe, I'm probably going to need to add a little bit more amount of vegetables in this recipe versus the printed one. I'm just going to put a little bit more water in. You see how 
it's still nice and thick and you're, you're not gonna believe how you know there's three tablespoons of flour so it's quite a bit of flour i already put about two cups of water in there at this point so we're just gonna keep leaving that and we're gonna leave this cook until all these onions they become translucent Okay, our onions are beginning to get translucent. This was a few minutes. It's uh, it was going to take about ten because, uh, quite honestly, this is the first time I'm making it in this uh, in this crock pot. My heat's a little higher when I do it on the stove, but for photographing purposes, video purposing, um, I wanted to do it in my crock pot or my uh, insta pot, I should say. So you see the way the onions are starting to get translucent. Now we're going to throw in. Um, some tomatoes so the recipe calls for canned tomatoes i had some lovely fresh ones so um i chopped up some i wanted to show you how easy it is to core all we do is we take our knife like this and then just uh core the center of that uh of the tomato out and we won't be using uh won't be using that core my dogs actually love the cores of the tomatoes they they're kind of like uh you know who needs a pig around when you get dogs they like they like uh, scraps so my dogs uh, eat, eat those in fact when I started chopping here uh, my one dog Chevy uh, came in to the kitchen because he knows when he hears chopping that sometimes he gets sweet potatoes or um, other type of apples and carrots and things like that so um, now we're gonna take um, we're gonna take these uh, the rest of these tomatoes and they're all gonna go in uh, into our etouffee, stir that around. Now I'm gonna also add into my etouffee a bay leaf. I'm gonna add uh, some Cajun uh, seasoning. I get my Cajun seasoning, I love uh, Penzi's. Um, Penzi's Cajun seasoning is just uh, really, really good stuff. And very, very low sodium. And then some Old Bay seasoning. And uh, you can just smell this, folks. Uh, it's just pretty amazing, um, the aroma, as this continues to cook. Now, the next thing I'm going to add are, uh, the recipe calls for dulce seaweed. Um, I've had, I had some seaweed that um, I've had, uh, I bought, um, again, at our friend's Costco. I'm going to take, like, about four sheets here. And uh, all I do with the seaweed, it's going to break down, so I'm just going to crumble it up. And this gives a little bit of that uh, sea aroma if you will that you would typically get with uh, seafood it just adds another really nice depth of flavor look how beautiful that etouffee is it's starting to uh starting to turn just lovely like that now i'm going to take all of my um my mushrooms and you see there, this is two pounds of mushrooms i think it's just gorgeous and i'm going to kind of leave these kind of big so i'm not too concerned about chopping these up a whole lot because i want those big textures in there and um, I want all those uh, you know those chunks kind of to mimic a typical etouffee you know I really believe that as we move more and more down uh, into uh, being a vegan um, and especially for those of us that are just transitioning to be vegans we need those tastes and textures that remind us of the foods that we ate when we weren't vegans to really help with that transition plus you know these mushrooms are just so good for us as well um, you know mushrooms are really shown to improve gut health and uh, immune system and uh, take a look at my website in the health literature section there's all types of great information about uh, the benefits of, um, of vegan diets and uh, mushrooms and so forth so so you see, I just kind of roughly chopped up all those wonderful mushrooms, intentionally leaving those pieces really big. I'm going to put the rest of my mushrooms in my etouffee. And I'm going to put a couple more cups of water in there. And uh, now what I want to do is just stir this around. And now this needs to cook for a good 20 minutes. 
and uh, before we serve it. So uh, I'm going to put a lid on this and uh, we're going to cook, cook this for 20 minutes and we'll be back and then take a look at what this looks like after cooking for 20 minutes. Okay, be right back. Okay, so it's been about 20 minutes. Our etouffee is cooking away. And wait till you take a look at this. Look at how wonderful that is. Isn't that beautiful? There's our bay leaf, which of course we'll fish out eventually. And I just want to show you <coughs> the mushrooms, the way they cook down. Look at the textures in there. Can you see that? Look at those beautiful textures. Um, you know, they're, they're just all different types of mushrooms. As you know, uh, I put in there, I left some of them whole. Those, you know, the textures, don't do, doesn't that just remind you of uh, your classic uh, etouffee? So <clears throat> now what I'm gonna do is just uh, scoop a little bit out. I'm gonna pour some right over a nice bed of brown rice. Get a little, too, a little bit more of those mushrooms. Man, doesn't that, doesn't that just look lovely? And uh, now what I'm going to do is uh, I had some green onions in the uh, refrigerator that if I didn't use them today, they probably would have been getting tossed out. So I made sure I use those. I'm going to take a little hit of lemon juice. I freeze my lemon juice in ice cube trays, so I always have fresh lemon juice. Take a little hit of that. And then I'm going to take some, the recipe calls for parsley. I'm going to do cilantro. You could also leave that off. And uh, it's, really, it's really your preference. If you want to add more Old Bay seasoning, I'll put hot sauce in this. So now I'm going to give this a little bit of a taste and let you know how this. Ooh, man, it is just looking so good. Look at that big hunk of mushroom there and some vegetables. Ah, it just looks, and it just smells wonderful. Mmm. Remember, there's no oil, just vegetable broth and flour. Mm. And you just get all these lovely textures. I just made just lovely broth. Look at this broth. Watch that. Watch that. Look at that beautiful broth. Isn't that wonderful? So, folks, there you have it. Mushroom etouffee. Again, the recipes below. Enjoy. Let me know if you've made it. Take care. Mark Zirkvenik, Let's Eat Great.com. Thanks, folks. Take care.